she's excited. We got school supplies, uh, got to meet some classmates. And um, yeah, we're, we're ready to go, ready to, to get started back to school. School districts throughout Central Texas are gearing up for the start of school this year. And while protocols have been established on campus, what's being done to keep students safe while they ride the school bus? Our 25 News reporter Joe Lopez is here to break it down for us. The countdown is on for the first day of school in Central Texas. Everyone is um, just expectantly awaiting what the school year will look like. Um, but again, these kids are resilient and they're excited to get back to their, their normal routines. Parents have been busy buying school supplies as staff and school officials make final plans for a school year that will welcome back a majority of students in person. Last year, we had a lot of um, COVID protocols and, and it just, it made teaching all the foundational social skills very hard. While guidelines are in place on campus, for those who take school buses, the CDC is asking all bus drivers and students to wear a mask whether or not they're vaccinated, but not all parents agree. She will start riding a school bus from her elementary school to aftercare and she won't be required to wear a mask on that. And I have no problem with it if a child on that bus wants to wear a mask, then my child understands that's their right and their choice to do so. This after Governor Abbott issued an executive order last month banning mask mandates in schools, leaving the decision up to the parents. Since this thing started, there's been people on both sides of the aisle and it's not going anywhere and there's going to continue to be debate. The CDC encourages schools to have masks available for students both on campus and on a bus, but there is no consequence for a student who does not have one. Everybody, we just got to come together and, and realize we're not all going to agree on how we approach this thing. And that's OK. In response, school districts like Waco ISD and Colleen ISD are still encouraging masks and plan to do contact tracing for students and teachers who have been exposed to coronavirus. Joel Lopez, 25 News.